everybody, it's Zach and Paul here in the CLX studio. Today we're going to be showing you how to reseat or install a video card. So first thing we're going to do here is get our side panel off. Um, in the back of the case, depending on which case you have, your side panel is going to be held in typically by two thumb screws. So that's what Zach is removing right there. Now once we get this off, when we're messing around with the video card, we like to lay the system down. It just makes everything a little bit easier to access and then kind of gets gravity more on our side. So first thing we're going to look at when removing or reseating our graphics card is our power connectors. So this card is a higher end card, 7900 XTX, that has three 8-pin power connectors. So the first thing we're going to do is, is remove those power connectors. There's just a clip on the top that you press down with your thumb and then pull out. Some cards may have one connector, two connectors, and this one has three. Same process for either one of those. After the power has been removed from our card, we're gonna go back to our mounting screws. So those are in the back of the case. You can see Zach unscrewing those right now. Most cards are gonna have two screws holding it in. Some cards will have three, and then in some rare case, you might have four, but the same principle applies there. Just remove those screws. Now that the power has been good disconnected from our card, our mounting screws have been released. We're gonna release our PCIe clip. So I'm gonna angle this case up a little bit just to get a good shot of that. So Zach's going to reach down there with his finger at the end of his PCIe slot and he's going to push down on that clip. Mm -hmm. And then once that's pushed down, our card should be released and we should be able to just pull it straight up and out. You may have to put your finger down on that clip to hold it down a little bit. Um, it can take some wiggling, but it's not going to take a lot of force or anything like that. So now that that's down, and just like that, our card is released and taken out. So now that we've got our card out, maybe we need to reseed it for some other issues, or maybe you bought a high-end system and you need to install your cards until it was shipped separately. So when you're installing your card, the first thing you're going to look at is the PCB here on your video card. So this is the slot that's going to be going into our motherboard. You can see this notch right here at the end will line up with the notch on the PCIe slot down there. So the other thing we want to look at before we start putting this in are these two tabs on the back of the card. Those are going to go into the case right behind your motherboard. So when we're putting this in, that's the two slots we're going to be looking at. We're going to make sure those two tabs on the back aren't touching the motherboard or getting uh, held up on anything and that our slot is going in correctly. Once it's in, you just push down and you'll hear a satisfying click and you're good to go. So now that we've got our card in, we're going to put our mounting screws back in. So those are what Zach's tightening up right now. And then after those mounting screws, we'll plug back in our power and we will be good to go. So once again, this card has three 8-pin power connectors. Your card may have one, two, or three connectors. It just depends on your card, but the same process applies. These are six plus two connectors, so we're just making sure that extra two is plugged in. Most cards nowadays all have the eight pin. And now that we've got that plugged in, we'll put our side panel back on and we'll be ready to game. <laughs> 